I'm Godet from Sign Request, and today I want to show you how you can connect a Google spreadsheet file to your Sign Request account using Zapier. This means that once you put in information in the Google spreadsheet, it will automatically send a Sign Request from your Sign Request account. So first you need to set up a Sign Request account, a Google Drive account, and a Zapier account so we can dive right in. The first thing you'll need to do is create a template in your sign request account. If you want to learn how to create a template in sign request, just check the link below and we'll explain it all there. Next up is our Google spreadsheet file. I have put in a bunch of headers here, email, title of the document, message, name of the sender and name of the signer and put in some information. One of the most important things to note here is to drag this bar down here because this will tell the system that this is the header bar and that these, this is not part of your content. Set up our template and our spreadsheet file so it's time to get to Zapier. Once you've created your account, you can go to Home and then Explore right here. And here we can go and choose the different applications we want to have communicate with each other. So here we choose the Google Sheets, and then here we choose Sign Request. There we go. And here we choose the trigger and the action. So we want the trigger to be a new spreadsheet row. We add information to the spreadsheet, and what happens is a sign request is sent from the template. Make zap. I have already connected my Google, Google Drive account to Zapier. Just follow the steps and do the same and go to save and continue. The fun thing about Zapier is that it can look right into the different applications that you use. So it can look right into your Google Drive. So you can just choose the right file right there. And then here, choose the sheet. I only have one sheet in my file. So it will automatically choose that and continue. Yes, please. Spreadsheet row A. That's exactly what I want. And here we choose sign request. And as we said before, we want the sign request to be sent from the template. And I've also connected my sign request account. So we just save and continue again. And this is where the fun starts. So here we have to fill out all kinds of information. A lot of it is optional, so you don't have to put in everything. But the template is very important and therefore required. So it will just look into my sign request account and find the template that I made before. So we choose that. The sender of the email is indeed me. And this is important. Who needs to sign is me and others. The sign request name. So it will just look into the Google Sheets file that we created. And here are the different headers that we chose. And we can just choose the title of the document and that is the sign request name. Um, we don't have to put any any information in here because sign request will automatically create an email subject. So we can just leave that empty. The custom email, go back to the drop down menu and this is the message that I want to send with my sign request. No automatic reminders. External ID is all not relevant right now. Then we get to signers. And here you have to know that all the information that you put in here is your own information because this will be sent to the first signer, which is you in this case. So I will just put in my own email address at signrequest.com. There we go. And the first name, we put that in the file. That is the name of the sender. Last name is irrelevant. Yes, I need to sign. And the order is me first. So it will send to me first. I'll leave the language and the force language and the phone number open for now. This is where it gets interesting because we have to use some code to put in extra information about the second signer. Um, this might all look a bit daunting if you've never worked with any code before, but believe me, it's not as scary as it looks. We just copy what is set here and paste it right there. We only really need the second row because this information we have already put in 
above. So we don't have to do that again, but make sure to keep that bracket right there. That's very important. So here we put in the information for the second signer and all that information is right there in the spreadsheet. So we choose email, there we go, needs to sign. Yes, that is very true. And order, that's number two. It is that easy. This is all we need to do here. And here is the last bit. This will do something fun because the external ID we can put into our template and it will automatically fill in some information. So let's just copy this again, paste that right there, and we'll only really need the top one right here for what we're going to do. So this is the customer name. And that is not John Smith, but we can actually take that from the spreadsheet again. So that is the name of the signer. There we go. And let's just copy this and put a comma in there. And then we can do sender name as well. Two. Change that to name of sender. Okay. And now what we do is we copy this. This is our external ID. So that's the customer name. And we go back to our template. This is where I want the customer name. So the second signer to be. That's contact one. We go to advanced and here you see external ID again. So there we go. Customer name. Save and that will just automatically fill in that information once we send it. Here we do the same, but then for me, advanced, external, paste, and save. All right, our zap is all set up, all ready to rock and roll, so we continue. Now, Zapier will let you send a test, and if all goes well, you get an email right now with your sign request to sign and finish up. So we make up a name, so that is just for our template. There we go. And we turn it on. And now whenever you put in any information in your Google spreadsheet, it will automatically send the sign request from the template to the person you intended to. All right, guys. Great job and see you next time.